Welcome to the New York Comedy Club podcast, where we sit down with friends and comedians of the New York Comedy Club, as the name might imply to you already. And uh, today we have Casey Balsham and Leah Bonima with us. Woo! And We're special... our biggest fans. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and uh, as a special holiday treat, we are going to be talking about the Hallmark Channel's Christmas movies. Yes. Which are a whole phenomenon unto themselves. Yes. An and, amazing uh, phenomenon. And of course, we've got the triumvirate. The full triumvirate is here today of Nick, Rachel, and Amy. Hi, Hi. everybody. Um, can, can I have a request? Can we say Christmaka so I don't feel completely left out, guys? No, it's a branded thing. <laughs> <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't Starbucks. All right. Well. But Rachel, happy holidays. Yeah. Just yeah, you, you can that still, helps. You can still hang out. I can still hang out. You don't out. have to well, leave the room. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, look, when Hallmark makes a dreidel, dreidel, I'm marrying a, a, a widower movie, then we'll talk about Chris Oh, Mika. my God. That is, ugh. I no, think the, yeah. the widower <laughs> thing is, I first of all, their titles are terrible. And also, that not as bad as mine. But, terrible. Uh, awesome. They're, yeah. I'm going to say awesome. Yeah. But like, they're very <laughs> to the point. But this yeah. is the thing I, 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 I want to dive know. in with this. Widowers and single parents feature heavily into these movies. They oh, want yeah. they want you to believe in love, you know. They want you to believe in second chances and in love. We're all flawed human beings, you know. So they want I think you to believe that it, you made a mistake once. Christmas time is now the time. Or something to bad happened. Put your you puss back out made there. A, yeah, yeah. You're hard hardened. And um, and then now is the time to uh, yeah. de-ice it with some Christmas dick. I think Give if we hope. really want to break it down to. Besides us, who's watching this? Probably somebody who's divorced. And so, you know, it's, mm. it's, I think it's probably aimed for somebody that's like, that could happen that to me. That might be a dangerous assumption because I know a lot of people <laughs> who watch Hallmark Christmas movies who aren't divorced. Yeah, maybe, a lot of people in like, too. I know a lot of my friends who are like in their 20s and they just <laughs> love them. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just true. a fun time. But I'd have to say, you know, based on some some of their marketing uh, commercials and things like that, they're 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 looking for hurt well, people. Well, they definitely <laughs> go after a certain demographic. Yeah. And I don't know if it's. Uh, Chicks. I mean, they, they definitely. Or I also <laughs> they're, saw. They're all the same fair skin tone. <laughs> that's true but i think yeah i was... love that they started moving in like a black friend there's a black mayor you know what i mean you're like oh you recognize there are other they're humans? trying to catch up with the time yeah. <laughs> well, the one i watched the other night though the lead was one of the maoris it was tia or tamara and i forget because they're oh. twins you know but there is a there yeah is they're a starting to get twins, right? they're getting them yeah they have candace cameron who's in every one of them oh, yeah. candace but cameron, she, cameron. she plays yeah. twins and yeah. they switch oh that switched to christmas but they yeah. couldn't do that with sister sister they well, may. you know, they may we got to go to the old Freaky Friday tradition of the same yeah. actress playing both. Yeah. <sighs> if you go it's like to beloved, fun. beloved yeah. tradition, if you go to Candace Cameron's Instagram, she says Queen of Christmas. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, that yeah. is her. It's her. Candace Cameron Beret, guys. Don't, yeah, don't I forget the for fun Mary. French last yeah, name. Correct me on that. Yeah, I. I thought she fell off the face of the earth. No, apparently. she hosts all the marathons yeah, on the she's channel. She's just stuck in a snow globe that is Hallmark Channel. Yeah, and Wait. slash Lifetime. Do you think you needed to have like a like a magical kind of Christmas childhood to get into these movies as an adult? No, I think they're it's the opposite. They are specifically for people who have not had a magical Christmas probably their entire life. Yeah, yeah like they're they're not. It's not sac. I mean, it's very saccharine, but it's it's not like the Grinch who stole Christmas or It's a Wonderful Life that's meant to be like, hey, we've all bought. It's like. It's like Leah said, it's like giving hope to people who maybe, you know, like, ah, things aren't going great. I'm divorced or a terrible thing has happened to me. But then uh, someone who works at a Christmas tree lot, which is another weird theme in all of them. So many people work at Christmas tree lots. They all work for uh, Christmas and some like work brings love into your hard hearted life because all you yeah. care about is, jo is your work. Like I was watching one last night and this lady, she was the wedding planner and she was in love with the groom, which is weird that that was being like, uh, I felt pushed as a, yeah. a good thing. But she also, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, show, you said the wedding planner? That's, yeah. that's well, not a Christmas movie, though. No, but it was, was the it was bride a Christmas. bitch. The bride yeah. was a bitch, though, right? Yeah, the bride was so we They were, always make the we other partner saving. that they're going to leave yeah. crappy, yeah. so you don't have to feel yeah, guilty about it. Yeah, they always make it, it like with no, with no redeeming qualities <laughs> where you're like, why is this nice guy with this lady anyway? Yeah. It's yeah. Like, just unbelievable. I think it was in a Christmas town. Like, that's the other weird thing. There's so many Christmas towns. Yeah. Like, there's these towns whose entire economy is based on christmas and i'm like yeah. this can't be yeah there can't be 20 of these in the every US. movie is set in the north pole 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all like, we make the toys. <laughs> we make the children laugh. And everyone's like, okay, what do you do for the rest of the year? They're like, we just get divorced, I guess. <laughs> well, that's why they need the lady who works hard in the city to come home and save the family business yes. that's holding the There's town one together. one person that left the town. Yeah, because yeah. that is the... the the candy cane factory or the bakery or the Christmas tree farm that's holding the town's finances together. Yeah. So if she doesn't go save the town where their big moneymaker is at Christmas, then the whole town's going to fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole town gets their nut from November to January. Yeah. And that's how the town survives. Yeah. Because they don't need much more. They all live on the bakery, you know. Yeah. That's all they eat is baked goods. But then like big corporate. I mean, I would have the, the big you know? corporations <laughs> come in and they start pushing around and giving prices that can't be beat. And it's like, well, no, we need to save the town. Mm -hmm. it's a mom and pop store. It's, you know, it's very, it's very true to life. Yeah. Amelia was talking earlier. You guys said a couple different movies were like garbage. Like what constitutes a garbage Christmas movie? Like what makes it bad? Well, Just they're all kind of bad, but that's why they're so good. <laughs> You need to lean into being bad. You to really be good. do. You have to kind of go, all right, this is a choice I'm making and I have, I'm going to stick with it. Okay. Yeah. Cause they're all kind of they're. I mean, cause they're so like fake that that's the best part of it. Yeah. No one's ever saying, yeah. Hey, did you see, Hey, did you see that last Candace Cameron one? That last Hallmark movie, it's got to see it. Oh my God, you got to binge this one. Like it's all like, well, yeah, the snows. Yeah, these not are even these are real. guilty pleasures, yeah. one hundred percent. Yeah. Except there was one I found. I can't find when it, it's not on TV until after we record this. And uh, as it turns out, Hallmark knows what they got here. I tried to get the Hallmark movie app uh, so I could watch some of these movies. Oh, that costs money, baby. Of like course. you want to watch Hallmark Christmas movies any any time that's not the one that's on. I mean, I know they're on twenty four seven on your cable right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta pay some good oh, yeah. money to Hallmark, and you can't even but, buy uh, the ones that came out this year until next year. Like, say for example, if I wanted to buy Christmas in Tennessee for my father, who's a huge fan, I can't until next year. That's actually a lifetime or right. Christmas under the stars, which I'm going to buy Just, because this time it's the man who works too hard and he's wearing the red jacket. Ooh. It's usually the woman in the red jacket. She works too hard, but this time he works too hard and you're like way to switch it this seems this actually We're, the fact that we can't find the ones that we like seems like a plot to a hallmark christmas movie like should that big, be our movie big, that's our people movie. that want to watch that hallmark is, christmas movies so that, that can't gonna, this is how we're, we're going to end stuck. the episode is we are going to write an outline for next year's Christmas for a Hallmark movie. What I do find the problem is like sometimes like Andrew Walker, who's a regular, he's on the hunks of Hallmark, uh, owns a juice company in real life. Seems delightful. He, I loved him in Christmas in Tennessee. And then the next night that's on Lifetime, he's on Hallmark with, actually, I think it was previous, but I DVR'd it. So I watched yeah. it later. Marion Bright, which is a candy cane company and they're hooking up and i was like oh but andrew you were just on lifetime hooking up with a the light uh strawberry blonde girl now now i'm confused now it's confused that's like amy with all her english actors that are in every english yeah thing i'm like ever. oh i She's love like, that guy you're a knight what are you doing in yeah i'm like how can you be a hot priest you're evil <laughs> right <laughs> is there is there beef between lifetime and Hallmark? i was just gonna say that, that i like don't think Marvel, so because DC? they're going back and there are you actors have to that go back that, and forth yeah you have to think that they're that they're fine with it it's not they're feeding each other they you know advertise I mean? on each other's and and they advertise on freeform are they owned by yeah. the same oh because freeform's maybe? got some too Freeform has 25 days of Christmas. Freeform's got some too. Oh, you know what I really also like about these movies is that it brings back people, it brings back actors you thought you might never see again from your childhood. Yeah. Yes. And you're like, I'm glad for you. I'm glad that you made this, you know, probably. Danica McKellar. This is $5,000 paycheck. I said the same yes. thing the other day when I was looking at the, the cast and it's like, it's almost like Sharknado meets Christmas. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's everybody that you want to see. It's everybody. Yes. It's Scott Wolf and his little short ass. Oh my God. I know. I little Scott, Scott Wolf. Wolf. Oh, so. Sometimes there's Luke Perry here and there. I yeah. just watched one uh, on the, you know, ooh. the Hallmark Mysteries channel. It's a little ooh. deeper. There's a lot, like, there's more illness and death. Wow. Um, which I think it's for, you know, and so it was um, their true stories. And it was the lady who Marlo Thomas was in it. Love ooh. a little Marlo and, Thomas. Yeah, I was like, what? And, you know, it merely, there was, a, like, a lot of loss in it. And you're like, oh, I'm going to switch back to the other Hallmark channel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But it was really I want good. Medium cry, not yeah. heavy cry. Yeah, it's the Godwink Chronicles, um, and they're doing like real life stories of things that people having people that they met on Chris, and it was like a Ooh. you know it was terrific. But there was Marlo. There's Marlo, and then there's um the one that's on net. There's a Netflix. There's like a Hallmark. Yeah, one Netflix, on Netflix is now really going the, after the it. Night yeah. The night before night. Christmas. Yes, K N I G H T that Robbie keeps threatening to watch with yeah. me. 
And I'm like, then just sit your ass down and play it. Let's do this. I'm in. They but isn't that Vanessa Hudgens? Yeah. Yeah. Because she was in the, the Switch one last year. Yeah, she was. They also That's though have, delight. so Netflix also has a couple others I found uh, yesterday because I got served uh, this one that Leah says, and she will say no more, although I don't know if you want to say it today, is not what you expect, but they've got basically a big oh. budget version of a Hallmark Christmas movie. Whoa. It's got Rob Lowe. It's got uh, Kristen What's-Her-Face from, uh, no, S- no, Sex and the City. Uh, oh, Davis. Davis. Oh, yeah, 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 and yeah, And she yeah, goes yeah. to, she's like broken up with on what was supposed to be your second honeymoon I to saw Africa. That one on Rob there. Lowe is like a surly airplane guy and they fall in love with an elephant or something. A lot of love connections on airplanes. Have any yeah. of you guys oh, seen yeah. this one? No, I okay, can't see it. it. Because it's it's got a little extra something that you're not ready for. Oh. Really? Full penetration? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I w- I'm ready for a full penetration. I, mean, I gonna, hope that's, so. That's, that's what we need to write. I, that's yeah. what I want to see. That's what our movie's going to have. <laughs> full penetration. <laughs> we'll be like, dear Har- Hallmark, there's not enough FP in yeah. your movies. And if that's I could what just makes see me a clitoris being stimulated, yeah. that would really. But Netflix is really, so I was trying to find that and then the night, Christmas, the night before Christmas came up. Uh, but they also have apparently a trilogy about the Christmas Prince. Uh, it's got Rose McIver in it. Who Have you, you guys not watched this? Zombie. I didn't watch The Christmas Prince. Watch got, the, the, uh, first the third one, is, one is, is out right now. Okay. The Royal Baby. They're having a baby. Now I know uh, what happens. Watch the first one. But watch also, the first then one. It popped up, you know, like how it shows you all the related stuff. There was just dozens of basically Netflix versions of Hallmark Christmas movies. I love it. They're not yeah. them off. You're saying? Yeah. Oh, well, they're insane. moving in. They're because they're gonna be they're so cheap in. to make. Fired. Christmas Inheritance was a real good one on Netflix because I feel like they probably all go just film where uh, Stars Hollow was. They they're throw f- some snow on the ground. In Canada. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. Canada. These are all Canadian. They are all filmed in Canada. And a lot of them, they like they're it's supposed to be snowing, and then they have low socks on, and you're like, okay. <laughs> Like the Candace camera right, but drives me crazy. Oh yeah, she's That's, supposed to be in Alaska. Alaska and she's got freezing. Yeah, air, low socks. Low That's, socks drives me low over socks. the edge. That's Robbie's biggest complaint with Gilmore Girls. He's like, whenever it's winter and they're in fucking Connecticut and they're wearing like fall jackets and they're like not freezing he's like this is not how you dress for winter here i'll be like why can't i see your breath he hates it yeah he's always just like there would be so cold luke keeps but luke keeps the thermostat up to like 90 yeah but luke's never even really luke's in like a leather jacket year round and you're like or like one of those suede ones you're like buddy yeah he's got a denim vest on yeah, but I gotta tell you, I've I never know, I felt you with more the like ankle. the left out Jewish kid in school right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gilmore Girls is for everyone, I guess. Yeah, you can. Well, you maybe can we Gilmore. can. Maybe we can add a Jew into our in our movie. Yeah. I mean, can we like bring Full the Jews and Full every- penetration? Jew. Yeah, Jew. I think yes. I think I think Hallmark is making some Hanukkah movies this year. Am I wrong on that? Really? Let's Google yeah. Hallmarkka. <laughs> Yeah, is it the Hallmark? The, I movies? would say the best Netflix is the Kurt Russell. Everybody would just be fighting in it. I think, I think you're just confusing those with the low budget yeah. films. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. I'm glad no one. Wow. <laughs> Wait, the Kurt is the Kurt, the Kurt Russell, Russell one is so good. And what's the Kurt Russell one called? It's on Hallmark, and it's um, I'm sure it has a real name, but I can just only think of it's like the night before Christmas, but with Kurt Russell. But obviously a little different. Amazing. It's incredible. We just he watched... really has a whole new take on Santa. Ooh. He really changes Santa. Oh, because he's Santa. Santa. That's right. Yeah. I have yeah. I have seen It's a whole new Santa. You don't remember this last year? It was seen like that the after Hot that Priest, uh, the <laughs> Kurt Russell last year was the other like big talk of ladies on Twitter. It was very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> hot Santa. <laughs> is he so hot? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. Just not even a hesitation. Yeah. I mean, he's not hot when he got like weirdly de-aged in that Guardians of the Galaxy movie that weirded me out. Well, he was also Uh, a bad man. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but when he was just regular Kurt Russell (laughs) bad man, he was pretty good looking. Is that what they're they're Um, de-aging people now? This is what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently they've been doing it for a while and we just haven't known until they started really hardcore doing it in these Marvel movies. And then like the secret got out and they were like, oh, no. Yeah, we've been doing that to uh, what's his face? Uh, Who's Captain Zeta Jones' husband? Oh, my God. Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas for a while. Pussy throat. Yeah, pussy throat. And which is a uh, side note, is the that series with him and Alan Arkin is one of my favorite. The Kaminsky. Yeah, the Kaminsky yeah. method. Yeah. One of the best things I've that, ever clearly. watched. Yeah. Um, so good. By the way, so I looked up the uh the Hallmark Hanukkah movie, and they are in fact introducing Hanukkah movies. However, the Jerusalem Post claims they have a lot of anti Semitic overtones to them. No. Yeah. Come on, Hallmark. Yeah, because I'm sure it was somebody being like, Oh, the Jews want a movie, do they? Yeah. <laughs> 
okay, you know, and then they just write something that's just super stereotypical. It's, uh, the, the plot of the movie, Holiday Date, is that a woman hires a Jewish actor to pretend to be her boyfriend at the family Christmas dinner, which, by the way, common trope on Hallmark, someone gets asked to pretend to be the boyfriend. Yep. And then they fall that's in love. That's how everybody uh, And then hijinks ensue because he doesn't actually know any Christmas traditions, which is wild because, hello, it's 2019 and I... He, he's there. like yeah. what he's like what's a yeah. tree i'm a jew uh, apparently he is portrayed <laughs> terrible movie bush. that tree's on fire yeah. ah. he's he's portrayed a, according to the jerusalem post he is portrayed as a mischievous unreliable outsider who doesn't belong despite his efforts to fit in amongst the christian family oh that's just how we portray men that's exactly yeah. how i feel <laughs> meanwhile meanwhile he's dressed in the full hasidic garb and he's like i'm just like you and everyone's like you're wearing a trench coat Stop, sir. As a side note of people that <laughs> pretend to be, that's the one movie. Did we talk about this? Which with one? the Holiday in Handcuffs? No, we didn't. Uh, Holiday it's, in uh, Handcuffs. I think it's Freeform that did it. And it's it's a very famous woman actor, and I can't think of her name. And she kidnaps Mario Lopez. <laughs> and it's I mean, actually to the point where you're like, I think this is maybe inappropriate. Yeah, this might not be in the spirit. Like, she puts him in his, her trunk. You know what I mean? You're like, I feel like this. When this is like although they're adult. <laughs> Melissa Joan Hart. They're oh. both fantastic. Fantastic in it. And if anybody's going to carry it off, it's these two. But if you're like, if the roles were reversed in this movie, we'd be like, this is a. Oh, Marky Post is in it too. Marky Post! Yeah. Who's Marky Post? She was in Night Court. Oh, yeah, I remember her. Mark, if you saw I her feel... face, you'd be like, I remember her from the 80s. I want to talk 90s. about this, this movie, though, more. You're telling me that yeah. she yeah, sorry, kidnaps. So Clarissa, she know from him? Clarissa Explains It All, yes. kidnaps A.C. <laughs> Slater. Yeah. <laughs> For what? I mean, yeah, to, for what? Because she needs a date. She gets broken up with right before, and her parents are really hard on her about not having a partner. So yeah. she sees a man that she's like, I would like that to have one, and steals him from this, his life. This is the new dating advice wow. that we should give to everybody. If people are like, how do I meet someone? You're like, just pretend, just have him fake it with you and pay them, and then you'll fall in but love. But she doesn't pay <laughs> him or anything. She kidnaps him and puts him in handcuffs. And then she tells her family he likes to pretend that he's been kidnapped. So it's she like brought him to, she brought so him to I'm sorry. dinner. So she's basically telling her family, like, this is a little BDSM role play. Yeah. Just go with it, mom. Yeah. It's really, when you I watch it, you're Christmas like, I think dinner. this is problematic. I think we've yeah. gone a wow. little too far I just, with this I want to be a fly on the wall at either one of their houses when they're reading the script going, uh-huh. And so wait, he just, so, mm -hmm. but he's at dinner with the cuffs, <laughs> but we're okay with it. And being like, sign me up. <laughs> I'm fucking in. They both carry the roles. I mean, it's kind of amazing that they can make it work because the whole thing, you're like, this seems really horrible that you would take a man into the woods and just lock him up with your family and tell them in advance that this is a thing he pretends. That's why I feel like the actors must know that they're like, we're doing this strictly for the campiness of it. Like, it or they're doing like, it for their SAG wages to get yeah. health care. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. Because I, I, it's like almost like if I were an actor and I was like, whatever, I'd like want to do like the worst one of the bunch just for fun. Just to be like, oh, I'm a tree that comes to life, and then I fall in love with the the the, 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 the ornaments. Oh yeah, I watch oh, that. I'm in. I want to star. You know, like would I just, you do it? I would do any of those movies. <laughs> I would even be the friend on the side that's just like you know spilling coffee everywhere, being like, well, you can't marry him. You know, like something. <laughs> I, I'm fucking. I'm in. Yeah, let's have a snowball fight. How about we make snowflakes out of paper? I'd be yeah. that friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be the one that comes over with the bottle of wine and it's like, girl, you have to forget him. He's mm -hmm. not worth your time. And just do like really bad acting. And then, but like, I don't know. Like, but I mean, the acting must be good if you love these movies so much. This could be all terrible. Be the, no. You're, you're missing the whole point. It's a guilty pleasure. It's terrible. But it's great. It's great. Some of them are Weren't some of them bad. are great actors. No, some of them are yeah. decent. Oh yeah, that was the one I had to. But a lot the, of them are. Look at me sticking up the holiday some train or solid. the Christmas train. Hold on, I gotta find it. Again. Dermot Mulroney, Joan Cusack, uh, Danny Glover is in it. Like, oh two, wow. wow, they like really pulled out. They're like, this That's is a, a real one. This is, on this is like a yeah. It was. This is I the one that it's Dermot, not on Dermot until Dermot next Mulroney. Monday. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like the lead ad right now because I see Danny Glover and I was like, whoa. It is The Christmas Train from 2017. Uh, journalist Tom Langdon promised his dead father he'd take a cross-country journey by train and write about his excursion. On board, he reconnects with his former girlfriend and co-worker, Eleanor, played by Kimberly Williams Paisley, who I guess is she, uh, She's uh, Brad Paisley's wife. She was in... You Kimberly, know her. She was in... Kimberly um, Williams. Yeah, Kimberly yeah, Williams. Okay, yeah. You know her. She was in um, Father of the Bride. She's yeah. the daughter. 
Oh. Uh, yes. She was also a And they broke the bank with She's the retro his train wife? set. Brad Paisley's his wife, yeah. So are we not as passionate about the actual feature films? Like, I love Love Actually. That's like oh, one of my favorite. This. Oh, this is, yeah, that, those are real. Genre. That's a no, different genre. Those are, genre. Rachel, those are movies. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is, these I, are these Hallmark. Are <laughs> What's going on, Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we do love Love Actually. I love Love Actually. <laughs> and that's how we're here to talk. But we're talking about, <laughs> yeah. Nine Lives of Christmas. I was trying to remember some of the old ones. Nine Lives are obviously about a cat and a veterinarian oh, and a fire, uh, fireman. Top quality. <laughs> Christmas at Cartwrights. That was two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Girl has to go home to take care of it. There's usually an ailing parent. Yeah. Or oh, if it's not Something, a family business, yeah. it's an ailing. She yeah. goes home. There's a and there's a cookie bake off. Thank yeah. God. That's one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. And then the other one was the woman that used Winnie. Yeah. Danica McKellar. Which is the Is that w- the one where she becomes the servant at the house or the house manager? I mean, I know she's in a couple. That one is that's exactly the one like the, the Princess for yeah, Christmas on, on Netflix. Oh. It's Netflix took that movie and made it into Ooh. their own movie, but without Winnie Cooper. Right. That's not How okay. You need Winnie Cooper. You definitely need Winnie Cooper. Ooh. We all need Winnie Cooper. This Winnie is- Cooper was my first crush. I, sh- I think that's. I think she was a lot of guys first. Crush. That's, and like, that's fair. That was like the first time someone was like, "Oh, you like Winnie Cooper?" And I was like, "Shut up! No, I don't." Like, <laughs> like she was gonna hear you hear them. Yeah, I was like, "Oh my god, I think I actually do." <laughs> and then it was Vanessa. No, Michelle Branch. Michelle Branch. Sorry, I, mean, I get. I always I get don't them have confused. a crush on Michelle Branch. I appreciate her music. <laughs> you know what? Michelle Branch had some bangers when it was coming out. Yeah. That was the chick I saw in the store, right? I, or was it Vanessa Carlton? I always get them. It's Michelle Branch. Michelle Branch and Vanessa pick... Carlton are the Biggie and Pac of 2000s female Okay. Music. <laughs> you know what? Talk they about were, one, you got to talk about the they other. They were big time. But you know what? I At this point, I don't think I could pick Michelle Branch out of a lineup. I could pick Vanessa Carlton. Well, I, I saw her I in Juice Press. Like. And I took, because I knew Nick like loved her. Yeah. And I took like a half a picture, but it was like behind. She was with a kid and she was not looking her finest. But um, I yeah, I mean, I still recognize her. Oh wow! I couldn't recognize. I would need of them. to see. I see. Yeah, Vanessa Carlton. I only know because she was just on Broadway, and so I would see all the ads. She was playing Carol King. Oh, mm, okay, okay, okay. okay. Then I do know who we're talking about. Over the summer, um, me and Amy just watched. Or you were home. We watched the Shoe Addicts Christmas oh, yeah. with that with like, Miss Candace yeah. with Miss Candace Cameron Bure, and yeah. it was just essentially this woman who loves Christmas so much that she was like working at a you know a, yeah, like a, a department, department store, store, and the people were like, "Stop decorating! You're doing too much." And she's like, "I just love Christmas," and her name is Noel, and you know she just goes overboard. But she's like, does you know? But she she was single, right? She's single. Oh, yeah. Of course she's single. But so she meets. She's at the store late one night, like fucking decorating or whatever, and um and she meets a lady that's like try on these shoes and then she gets to go back to other parts of her life and see if she wants to make different decisions and so it's kind of like a Christmas yeah. goes to Christmas pass it's put very, the shoes on and then there's magic yeah real and then, magic and then she ends oh. up going to this life and she ends up with a dude and stuff like that but it's uh, but there's like a whole like little yeah. gift of the magic kind of trick and yeah. it's not quite that but basically like she is confused there's one thing she sees in her future but she misinterprets the whole thing. Yeah. So she almost misses out on the love of her life because oh, she's like yeah. waiting for this other guy, but it's his <gasps> yeah. brother. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's one where she travels in time. Did you guys see this one where Is this she the goes one back? The nurse? Yes. The World War II? Yes. I just, what? Read about, I just read about that one. I watched it. Yeah. She's a World War II nurse and her, I don't want to give this one away. It really has a, it has a flip at the end. You know what I mean? I feel like you should watch this. <gasps> I don't want to give this one away. I don't want you to give away any of them except. <laughs> I mean, it re- they really go in a different direction. It's, Everybody dies. I, know, just I, don't wanna, I don't want you to give away the ending to any of these movies, except <laughs> I can't stop thinking about. So does Slater? And, <laughs> like, how does that work? Does he end up being like, you know what? I'm really glad you kidnapped me. Yeah, of course. It, yeah. God damn it. Hey, yeah. It's a formula here, Nick. By the way, I saw him at the um, last time I was in LA, and he was in the Burbank airport, and we were on a huge delay. And that man took pictures with every single person who Lopez? asked him. Aww. Yeah, I've every single person, and didn't look irritated by it. How God can you with dimples like that? That's true. I mean, poss- even when he's mad, you'd be like, <laughs> and he was wearing okay. sweatpants, which um, like very Slater esque. Yeah, and and like, <laughs> and they, you know, he really rocked him. Was he sitting yeah. on a chair backwards? <laughs> Like, what I'm, was he sitting on a chair backwards? No, like he used to do with the max. Yeah. Did he? I wish he was. We all had, we were all standing in this long on crazy chair lines. in the airport. They're not freestanding. Slater can do whatever. I think that's he true. I bet gave Slater his chair to a Slater person who needed to sit. That's yeah. how I'd like to believe that story Aww. happened. Samara so Lopez is quite the guy, huh? I've heard he's a nice yeah. guy. You know, he had he had one big 
you know, he had one big kind of thing. Yeah, well, because he was engaged and he cheated on her at his bachelor party. Oh, yeah. And so then they to a lady with a lady. Uh, yeah, hmm. yeah. <laughs> who was the? Who was the? Who Alex, was Ali Landry? She was like a model. She was like the Doritos girl for a bit. You'd recognize oh, yeah, her, yeah, like yeah. her blonde, face. Go- yeah. No, 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 not blonde. She oh, had brown yeah. hair. She got curly, brown hair. Uh, straight. wavy, straight. Well, straight. Then I'm thinking um, of wrong you're person. thinking of Allie Larder from yes, Varsity Blues. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, you are. This is unbelievable. Um, Allie Landry was like a model, and she was a Doritos girl, and she did some acting, and then they were engaged, and then they broke it off, and she came out and was like, he cheated on me at his bachelor party, and then he is since now married, and I think on three kids on a but on who the, did he cheat with like a one-nighter I, I mean maybe one of the strippers maybe somebody mm, yeah maybe, maybe that's what we want to know who did he cheat with wife and maybe they <laughs> yeah through the miracle of christmas oh was it a christmas full circle yeah. nick yeah yes it was a bachelor party on christmas did he which get is not a good sign did he get kidnapped uh, yeah. the, he said yeah. that he, he was handcuffed, handcuffed, right. handcuffed. <laughs> it actually he's cheated with melissa joan hart she actually Whoa. does a terrific job in this yeah in that movie it's hard to pull off a character who's Who's kidnapping, kidnapping someone and yeah, still likeable. the good guy and still be likable? Yeah. yeah, but she's just quirky enough, you know. Yeah, that's true. I remember. Did you, did you guys ever want to dress like her when you were? Remember, oh, totally. Remember she was like, she would just pull wild things from her closet. Like her yeah. outfits were so funny, and I remember being like, "I'm um, gonna be brave like that," and then being like, "Nope, can't." We didn't do have it. a TV, so I don't even know what TV show she was she's on. She's on Nickel. Her show Clarissa was explains Clarissa it Explains It All, and her best friend Sam would just pull up a ladder and, and, and they would go, "Wow, like, oh, oh yeah, that is kind of weird, huh?" I've never liked that Sam. Yeah. He would come in through a window on a ladder. Yeah. But and then he had innocent. his own music. There was nothing untoward about it. Yeah. He and just she would just be like, what's up, Sam? I've got a lot of stuff yeah. going on. what they want you to think. <laughs> everyone knew. Oh, no. I had a full-on Clarissa dressing phase, like freshman, sophomore year in high school. Oh, I wish I was There was great. one store at the mall that was like an <laughs> hour away from my house that had weird clothes like that. And like I'd make my mom take me there before school started. And then, yeah. there was nothing near my house. I grew up in the woods. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'd make my mom take me there before school started. And then at Christmas... And I would get new weird clothes. And then uh, I saw Nirvana, Smells Like Teen Spirit, and I just started wearing flannel. There you go. <laughs> yes. There you go. Didn't, didn't uh, Blossom kind yeah, of start same, that whole... Like, that was like a slightly fun. more mainstream... No, she was after Clarissa. She was hats. Was she? Yeah. And she was like the more mainstream kind of weird. You know, she was like the NBC version of like, here's our funky chick. Yeah. I, think I hated Hallmark. Blossom so much. I, everyone used to call me that in high school. Who I, they hated, call you? I hated it really? so much. I hated her. I hated that show. I hated Who? everything. Blossom. That's People actually, called you that's Blossom? That's actually Rachel's last name. There it is. Aww. Rachel Blossom. Blossom. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Sounds like a drink. You don't look like her. We should put Blossom. that on yeah, the you menu. Do. Coming soon to the New York Comedy Club. The Rachel Blossom. <laughs> I had I had, uh, I had a different uh, <laughs> facial structure at one time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, good work. This. I'm not going through life like this. <laughs> really? Yeah. Ironically, it was a Christmas gift. <laughs> Hanukkah. No, yeah, that, no that's, I, that's I, the one of them. No, I never got any gifts. I'd paid for it myself. Uh. <laughs> all right. Wait, I got. So, all right. So I have some meta things to talk about in my research for this okay. podcast. Uh, besides the fact that it costs a million dollars to watch these movies on demand in any manner. Um, number one, so I did get the Hallmark channel, did the regular Hallmark cha- Hallmark channel app, and it is atrocious. Like oh, they has this give been on the whole time. Yeah, oh! we currently have a Hallmark movie on as we're recording this. I'm not sure which one this is. I haven't seen this one. Yeah, well, I feel like the only woman. Oh, you know they all have their, but Alicia Witt is the one ooh. who I feel Love is like the quirky. Witt. She's got yeah. red hair. She's always like, what? Are you, doing? you know what I mean? Is this I really Leslie enjoy Bibb her. Or- in she my, did one last year, Mistletoe In, where she's like wants to be an, a writer, Ooh, yeah. and her current boy or ex boyfriend like craps kind of puts down her writing, and then she's like going to go out and be a writer. Um, I always think Alicia Witt really brings it. Oh, is yeah. this one of those where they don't know that they're actually emailing each other? That's what it's. Oh, it's like you got mail. I've been but watching for this Christmas. for one minute, and yeah. I saw them both sending texts to each other, and now they're next to each other. So I'm already just assuming that I figured oh. out this movie. Oh, yeah. You're probably you got right. It. Yeah. You're Did you guys see that right. Adrian Grenier, or have you say his last name appropriately? Grenier. 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 Um, was in a uh, Christmas at um, Graceland. Oh. He's in the Yeah, too? it was in it was one of the Thanksgiving ones and was he Elvis? No, but <laughs> Elvis Presley uh one of the Presleys is in it. Hmm. Which one? Rilo Ky- Rilo Kylie? What's the wife's name? Priscilla? Priscilla's in it. Wow. Ooh. Priscilla and also. Entourage. I mean, they're they're yeah. bringing it. Wow. They everyone well, he's reached okay. that phase in his life, you know? Yeah. 
<laughs> I think, he, I think he loves Christmas. Yeah. He's reached the uh, time health to start working at the phase of his yeah. life. I got, I got to do some Hallmark shit, you guys. I, I, okay. Um, so but he, okay, so this is the interesting it. Yeah. <laughs> thing I found through the app, though. So while Netflix may be uh, like yanking this shit and making their own version, Hallmark's doing a little turnaround as fair play with them. They have their own knockoff of the British Bake Off holiday series right what? now. Oh, that's right. You told yep. me about that. There's only one episode out so far, but it is basically like the holiday edition of British Bake Off. So there's not like a, we're sending you home, blah, blah, blah. But they just have these like, but it's if the Hallmark Channel did it. You know what I mean? It's not British people. It's a little, it's charming in an American way. Very hardworking, middle class. I run a bakery with my sister kind of people. It's uh, I, it a, I recommend it. Oh God, I don't remember. I, I didn't know that. I literally wrote down just so bake exciting. off, knock off. <laughs> Are they? That's probably knowing Hallmark. That's probably what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> Are I they think British? It's just called like the holiday baking. No, it's all American. Very I, American. But I wish they would do the accents. I know. Maybe yeah, they. <laughs> that's how I feel comfortable. I only feel comfortable watching people that bake, and with accents. Maybe they have accents. It's just not British. Oh yeah, there's accents. <laughs> That sounds like a new challenge in guys' grocery games. They spin a wheel and like, now you have to cook this dinner as an Australian. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, I eat. But I thought Brits said terrible food. But their their goodies are their food's great. Do you not know about the British Bake Off, Rachel? Yeah. All right. Jews, very, Jews can I'm, watch the British Bake Off, really so we not can't go there. Prepared for today at all. <laughs> Ooh, there's, there's the Christmas tree off is just like Wait, there's the Christmas tree right Christmas there. there. Oh, yes. There's that for it. It did what a cast. I think it's on Kimberly Monday. I think it's coming out on next Monday. Dermot. Danny, we're yeah. getting derailed. The by mistletoe the video that in. No one That's see. the one that I was just talking to you guys about. Oh yeah. Oh Wait, no. Premiere. How did you tomorrow. see it before the premiere? No. Then I'm thinking of another mistletoe in. Hold on one second. It's on my phone. Okay. Go get it. <laughs> Go the, get the it. The mistletoe in. I like that one. Uh, well, anyway, while she's gone, Rachel, I'll explain to you the cultural cultural phenomenon, phenomenon that Please. is the Great British Bake Off. Yes. Uh, it you was must. on. It was originally on PBS, and then it came to Netflix. It's from the BBC, but now it's on Channel Four. Uh, in Britain and it is the greatest thing since sliced bread and about three years ago every person in America started watching it because it's the most soothing delightful show yeah. <laughs> on the planet it's a reality baking show but it's British so they're nice and delightful and like when they win all they say is I'm proper chuffed they don't go like <laughs> suck it blah, blah, blah. and when they they're lose nice. they like everyone hugs the person and they don't say like you're the loser and get the fuck out of it they're like we're so sorry to say the person who must leave the tent is Danny and they go, oh, no, and no, then everyone hugs good. and everyone cries. Yeah, I'm glad. And they help each other with the cooking. Like if one person finishes yeah. early, he goes and helps the other people yeah. with their stuff. It's like, and it's when they're so stressed, stressed, also sometimes there's just little lambs like, in the background. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because it's on a British it's, estate. It's in this, just this tent in the middle of greenery. Yeah. Yeah, they, that's the weird part. To, that's the weirdest thing you to have me. To is catch up. They a go all the way. So watch them. They've got this beautiful British estate that I'm sure has a kitchen facility at it, and instead they set up a tent on the lawn where they. I guess pipe in gas or electricity or whatever the tent to make is the better. Thing it has happen. to be a tent. I mean, that's true. If they the were in the kitchen, great. I'd be like, Ugh, yeah. get in a tent. I mean, I love the. T- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ugh. What are you? Yeah, I think right, the mistletoe toe in. It's been out before. Oh, so maybe. This might, oh, this is. Yeah, this is. This, this is the is premiere this channel. year. Oh, we're. Oh, this we're is an old. Like a, unless yeah. you DVR yeah. them and save them, which. You do. Yeah. I do. You, there's no other way to watch The Mistletoe Inn with right. aspiring romance novelist Kim Rossi is dumped. She signs up for a romance writing retreat at a, crate, at a quaint Vermont inn shortly before Christmas. Do you know Michael Gelbart wrote a Christmas movie and it comes out every Christmas? What? So it's this, and I, I'll have to ask Robbie what it's called. Oh, this is a comic one. in LA. He wrote a Christmas movie. It comes around every Christmas. And then also what they did with his movie is they, they, took the same movie and essentially it's about like a daughter and the parents. I forget what it's about, but essentially then they took the movie, they cut out every scene with the mom film that made them gay parents. And it's the same movie, but they just made new scenes with a guy and a husband. Oh. So there's two versions of it out now, the regular one. And then the one that they made just to have same sex parents. And, but it's his same movie. It's wild. I and forget it what it's called. Seamlessly. Me and, me and Robbie so watched it like last Christmas. I'll ask what it's called, but how funny that they just were like, well, I guess we could just plug in another kid. Like, and yeah. they just cut out the mom. We need a little, need a little diversity, just like put a gay guy in there. Yeah. 
Let me ask him. I'll oh ask him God, right now. What well, on my what top is, ten goals for life, one of them is write a Christmas movie. Do it, that's Leah. Cool. You know the formula. Listen, we're doing that. Right <laughs> now. I'll write it. Let's get a <laughs> yeah. doc going. Yeah, we got ten minutes left. Let's do it. Right let's now. write a movie. Okay. Uh, yeah. A very, up, a very merry mix up is the other recommendation for Alicia Witts. Oh. I just want to make sure everybody know Christmas at Carthrights and Nine Lives of Christmas is not Alicia Witt, but it is a woman with a job uh, that she doesn't give up. Um, and that's about obviously there's a cat. Mistletoe in is Alicia. Crown for Christmas. Those are all my faves. Can't not have I that. mean, the great thing is that if you were to write one, you could literally just write one that has already been done yeah. because they're all the same. Like, I mean, like you said, you ha- if you have the formula. All right, let's do it right now. You can okay. write it. Where do we want to go? Do we want to find true love or are we saving a small oh, town? You guys do both. both. They it's both, both happen. You time. never don't okay. have one. So we're, oh off, my God. we're off to a great start. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so who's the, who's the lead? Candace Cameron? Or are we going with the... Okay. I want... Yeah, I think we let's do Alicia Witt. It's okay. Alicia Witt. Because she's a little more... What's her deal? She, a little more shoulders. She, she works too hard, doesn't have time to appreciate herself, that she can't find true love. She's I mean, a, we she's a lawyer. I think, I think she comes from a stern family that runs the Christmas tree lot, but she escaped the family business as like a big time lawyer in the city, but now she's got to come back and save the lot. How about no, she's defending the people who are oh! about to buy the lot? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. She she takes on this case, and then she realizes they're trying to shut down her hometown's Christmas tree lot. Yes. And yes. now there's a moral conundrum. But, yes. And now there's a, and then she goes home, and her high school love is there, and she's and he's like, "What are you doing here?" And she's like, "Oh, I'm so rich." And then like <laughs> um and then he and then he's like super sad, and then she has to decide whether or not because then she falls back in love with him, and then you know she because he's decide. like you used to be somebody else who cared about people yeah you used to care about people and she's like well now i have an apartment and floors and health care and i have a red hair that i have to keep up you know <laughs> and there's like lots of things <laughs> this is a movie Did yeah. she carry a dog in a bag does she have a bag dog? Yeah, and remember they were like, and then she brings a bag dog back, and they were like, remember when you used to have regular size yeah. rural people yeah, dogs? Yeah, that's like the through line of the, <laughs> like the, the comedic through line is her dad just can't understand why yeah. she would carry around a dog in a bag, and he's like, what's wrong with that dog? Yeah, and and at the like, end, she lets the dog walk. Oh, sorry, go yeah. ahead. I was gonna say at the end when they start kissing, the dog jumps out of the bag and walks by himself. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. The the dog jumps into the dad's arms and he gets the dog a bone for Christmas. Yeah, and then they open her purse and it's just full of dog shit. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, she's like in her vest and she's looking at all these people dressed like regular small town people and she's like, ugh. And she's like, Sh- I wear Chanel. And they're like, ooh. <laughs> and then her like. <laughs> that was, well, okay. the, end. That the, was thing, the end of my What's going to be the climax though where she realizes the true meaning of Christmas and love? And then they almost kiss, but then there's a phone because, call or somebody shows yeah, up. Yeah, because there's it's a, a late yeah, There's got to be a couple thing. near misses. Yeah. yeah. She's got to have like a, like a chubby best friend that's super quirky. That like doesn't understand like what happened to her, and like she thinks it's like, hey, you can just come back and yeah. hang out with me again, and we'll have sleepovers. She's like, I don't do sleepovers. I'm rich, and I have red hair, as Casey said. Yeah, that's so, her character. And then, and then she's like, well, you remember Don, who you were in love with in high school? Well, he, he's around. <laughs> He's around. No, I think they bump into I each other. I think that's real snappy. Yeah. Like, I think where she's ordering a complicated just an coffee. Yeah. She's coming up she's, with a She's ordering yeah. like she's a. She's at a diner being like, Do you have skim milk? And they're like, Honey, nothing around here is scam. Yeah. Skim she's milk. like, I want soy that milk. Whip. Yeah. Soy Do you have milk. soy? And then the guy behind her, who's her ex, is like, <laughs> you I know. thought that was uh, you. Yeah. And then he turns around and he's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And he has stubble. They always and he has have a, he's in a stubble. pickup truck where he owns his own business. Yeah. And so he's wearing like a business yeah. uh, so man he's, working shirt. Yeah. But he's like also like rich because he's successful. But, you know, he's still like he's small salt town of the rich. earth. Yeah, he's small town rich. Yeah. He's still got, he's still got values. He yeah. didn't sell his soul for that. And money. she's this is how and she's working late re- one night in the diner with a coffee and he like sees her there and they have like a chat and he makes her reassess everything. And then she's also like, he and bring- I love you. He brings up like an embarrassing thing they used to do in high school and she remembers and it's like, like she eats, oh no she brings, her, brings her back to again. the tree that they carved their yeah. initials ah, in or yeah yes. or that's on the lot that she's fighting against yeah oh yeah and, yes. he, and at the diner he makes her eat carbs and she hasn't eaten carbs in 20 years <laughs> He's like, remember when we got pancakes? And she's like, oh, pancakes. I haven't heard about a pancake since I was six. And then you know? she gets the shit. Yeah, because she hasn't eaten carbs and sugar in and so long. And they go back to his house and she's like, it feels good to be able to have the shits around someone. Yeah, and she just door open is shitting. And then that, that sounds like, 
<laughs> that sounds like the best lead in for the full penetration. I was going to say, we're still missing Jews, black people, and full penetration. Just, oh. just from earlier. <laughs> Oh man! She's right. like, we're it's okay. It's it's, it's like, well, maybe, aren't we gonna talk about Palufanum? Maybe Christmas? the uh, the people that run the oh. diner are Jewish, but they've like become accustomed to the Christmas ways, and they're just like, yeah, we don't know what's going on, but we love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Lifetime definitely has more people of color. Yeah. Yeah. Lifetime I seems to be didn't. more. I thought I thought the like the no Halloween and Lifetime are different movies, and Lifetime actually seems a little bit more yeah. moving with the times. Okay. Because that ABC one we were talking about earlier seems to be the most progressive. So I got the title. Oh, okay. I got the title. What is it? It can be called A Lot to Save. Ooh. Oh! There it is. Wait a second. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Let me see. This, this is coming out next year. By the way. <laughs> Trademark this podcast. Nobody steal this idea. <laughs> I will hunt you down. Okay. <laughs> we got to go to the WGA right now and file this. A lot to save. How is that not a thing now that you said that? Yep, it's going. Too Cool for Christmas is the name of the Michael Gilbert one that is both a straight show and uh, and then has a, an alternate universe where it's uh, two dads. All right. So. Okay. A very <laughs> too cool. Very cool. We're watching that at home. Well, on that note, oh yeah, we are. Uh, it, it's about time for us to wrap up. So obviously, watch our Christmas movie next year. Uh, yeah. Watch Michael Galbert's movie. I don't know how to find it, but it's somewhere. <laughs> uh, Caitlin, uh, Caitlin, Leah, you and Caitlin. Yeah, me have, and Caitlin. No, that's right. Caitlin, uh, and Leah. You, plug, Caitlin. you and Caitlin have a, a little Christmas series of your own. Yeah, Caitlin Palufo and I are doing a Palufonima Christmas, which is you know Palufo and Bonima, and we're doing the countdown to the twelve. What one would argue is the twelve? Not necessarily our favorites. Because uh, we have some things that we've added that we dislike intensely. Um, <laughs> oh, I can't wait for those. Ones. Um, like today we did Rudolph, and we both are uh, the claymation one. Yeah, but we think it's like a classic. But both of us disagree that this is an accurate portrayal of Santa because he would the idea that he would allow all these other reindeers to take a shit on so, Rudolph and then yeah. be like, "Oh, it's so." I just disagree that so that's fun, acceptable. Fun fact: What me and Robbie were talking. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer song written by a Jewish guy. It's about a kid that has his nose made fun of and then it turns out he's magical. Score. It's actually written by a Jewish guy. Oh, as that's great. most Christmas I, songs are actually. I did know that about Rudolph. I, yeah. And I just think Wild. it's so unfair that he's this underdog and then the other reindeer don't get punished for being fucking biles of shit bullies by Santa. Yeah, well, racism yeah. existed back then. I know, but I feel like this is a great time for they us to take Santa and have him just go sure. fucking punch the other reindeer right in the <laughs> face. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't like that they bullied Rudolph and then that was just okay because he saved the day. You know, I think there should be some repercussions. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> That's you're how I feel wrong. about I know, that. Santa really was a big dick. But he's not. That's an inaccurate portrayal. I think we just need to go Santa back in and be like, busy, oh, no, 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 you guys. The guy. Santa is like, Santa's like, oh, I have to make all the toys, all the toys, and I have to make sure that my reindeers are fucking being nice well, to each Santa's other. It's a lot. Nice. I, mean, kind of I feel like Santa was not nice to the elves in that, though, right? Or was that just like there was a head elf who was mean? I forget. Because the elves were also racist against the dentist. What? What? <laughs> not in Rudolph. What's going on right now? Right? Yeah. Yeah. He, the, the, the little elf. The little that, elf that gets to the Kirby the land or whatever of, his yeah, name is. Yeah, he wanted to be a dentist. And everyone's yeah. like, you can't be a dentist. Just sit down gotta and be make an toys. This is in Rudolph? Yeah, right? Oh, this it's is a not in Maybe, my, maybe my, on the TV version, they don't plot. show the people. <laughs> 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 but they come toys. together. Yeah. And then Rudolph and the, and the weird and the dentist elf and the weird lumberjack, not lumberjack, Yukon, Yukon gold Jack. guy. Yeah. Yeah. And the abominable snow beasts get together. And then that's. That's a whole other thing. That the happens. Island of the Misfit Toys. Yeah. Yeah. There's That's... a weird elephant and. Oh, well, the point is. Yeah. If you could watch our series. <laughs> Look, they had to. <laughs> so, go on. They had to pad out that song to be an hour and a half long movie. There's, there's yeah. some B plots there. Um, yeah. That's right. Uh, it's on Instagram and YouTube. Perfect. On, but we're both posting. So at Caitlin Palufo and at Leah Bonima. We're going to over Christmas everybody. I think you're people doing, by the end are going to be what, like, get out. The 12 Me and Robbie best Christmas movies? Is that what you The like 12 most, most classic. classic. Not not our necessarily oh, our personal favorites. Do I dare to bring this up at the end of this episode or oh, should no. I wait? And What is it? I don't Go for it. I don't Let's want to do spoiler it. alert anything. Uh -oh. But what's everyone's opinion on Die Hard as a uh, Christmas movie? Oh, we opened with it. Okay. <laughs> because I think it but we, it counts as like you can start it preseason. 
because it slips by people who have rules about when you can start Christmas movies. Right. But it is a Christmas movie because it takes place at Christmas. There is a Santa hat. And he gets back together with his lady at the end. Hallmark. <laughs> it's very Hallmark. It just involves some machine guns. Yeah. Okay. I'm um, not going to get into it because this is a whole other episode. Yeah. But that's uh, it's, it's interesting. So. All right. Casey, what do you want to plug? It does not have to be Christmas related. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I guess. When, when does this come out? I don't know. What Monday? Friday? Something. I don't know. Maybe later. All See? right. Well, I have a. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is coming out later. I've got a, a another podcast you can listen if you like true crime. I'm yeah. on uh, co-host of not another true crime podcast. It's on the Betches Network and it comes out every Monday. Um, and we're doing some real fun stuff over there. Uh, yeah. Not that murder's fun, but I mean, come on. It's, <laughs> and you have it's an album. Oh, I do have an album. I have an album oh, out called Son of a Barb. So you can also stream that, buy that, tag me, follow me, come to my house. <laughs> don't come to her house I don't care <laughs> don't do that please don't, don't come care. to her house <laughs> bring no, me no. bring me cheese and crackers I'll open my doors <laughs> promise promise yeah at our house if you bring our buzzer we all yell who's the murderer yes this is, is there true. a murderer here did someone call for seamless <laughs> did someone get a man or is on there a, a murderer? Bike? what's happening yeah. we're pretty sure everyone coming to the house is a murderer happy holidays to everyone and merry christmas happy holidays happy all Hanukkah right. happy Hanukkah Happy Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa's not till yeah, Kwanzaa's a different later. time this year. I don't think that's a I thing just, anymore. Like that just fell No, no, wait. Kwanzaa. I'm sorry. I, no. Of course it is. No. Not as much as it used to no, be. No, there's been a backlash to Kwanzaa. Why? But we'll, that's a whole other. Yeah, because yeah, that's what I'm saying. Have, like it used to be like, oh, no, we yeah. have to say Kwanzaa. Like, now it's like, no, you don't. It's weird. There's been a Kwanzaa backlash. I'm not saying it's like, I just wrong. want everybody to feel a seasonal yeah. happiness, whatever you celebrate or don't Happy celebrate. Happy pagan Christmas just happy tradition. happy winter solstice. Yeah. Yeah. Just appreciate that there's lights and bars now yeah. making them look it's, more fun. Yeah. And, and it's running almost water. Almost the darkest day of the year, and then it's going to get better. Enjoy That's your running water. How great is that that we have r- yeah. running clean water? Sewers. And we can make it hot and have tea. Yeah. And don't ever <laughs> pour your turkey uh, juice down, oh, the, down sink. the sink. Yeah. Did you see that happened? I, I was like, I said when I was cooking turkey, I was like, oh, put the turkey you know the the juice. juice that comes out in the freezer you freeze it and then you throw it out oh, yeah and then and then i was like i wonder if people know that and then two days later it was in the times somebody in queens near us yep. yeah dumped it down the pipes and then the whole the whole neighborhood the whole got blocked up with sewage backed uh, up because it congeals in the pipes yeah. and then on top of it it's yeah. cold same with bacon grease you got to put it no put it in a little grease. cup or you put it in a yeah. can under the thing but you know what i thought you always saved it to cook with again because some people cook in bacon fat but i i guess you can yeah. if you but i don't but need t- my so nana did that but we got so much fat now you yeah. Know. Do we have? We don't have one right now. Right? We a lot of people use it in their soup or in their gravy. But I guess when yeah. it's under the sink for months, you don't just tap yeah, you don't it. You can also just up. put it in <sighs> dirty. Put it in the freezer. Mm. Freezer's good. A anyway, nice, no nice grease, guys. Suet. Yeah. So guys, don't yeah, block your sewers. Suet. If you want to have the birds come to your window, enjoy. Mm-hmm. Enjoy the holiday time. season, <laughs> uh, and don't block up the sewers. Don't clog the drains. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for listening to This Is Not A Green Room. We are available wherever you get your podcasts, including Stitcher, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, and iTunes, as well as the Laughable app. And wherever you're listening to us, please subscribe and give us a five-star rating so that other people can find us and love us too. You can find us online at Not A Green Room on Instagram and Twitter, and you can check out the club at New York Comedy on Twitter and NY Comedy Club on Facebook and Instagram.